Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Tutor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to draw and track an animated line on some drone footage. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm making this video because I've done a video explaining how to draw an animated line on a map and someone asked me if I could do a similar video but this time tracing a line on some drone footage. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So here I have my clip. So take whatever drone footage you want to trace and here I'm just going to select the portion of my clip that I want to trace. So for me that's just going to be like about five seconds right here. I'm just going to do my cut and then we're just going to create a new fusion clip so i'm gonna right click on my clip that has been cut and then we're just gonna go right there new fusion clip click on it and now we can move over to fusion to do this we're gonna use the paint mask and the tracker in fusion quick disclaimer on the tracker it's behaving very differently depending on the kind of footage that you have and that's one of the reasons why very often i end up uh, keyframing manually because that's how i get the best result depending on what i have you know if there's a lot of movement in cars sometimes it's very hard to track certain things so i end up doing it manually right now i'm going to show you basically how to do it with the tracker and to adjust it manually if you have to so I'm going to start by bringing here a background node. I'm going to link the output of that background node to my media in. And then here I'm going to select my background one. It shifts space on my keyboard and I'm going to search for mask and we're going to use the mask paint. Once I have the mask paint, I'm going to switch from the multi stroke brush to the polyline stroke. So right now I'm going to trace my line point by point. Keep in mind that each point is going to have to be animated. So try to keep the points to a minimum. So I'm going to start here with my first point. Then then I'm going to just drop a second one and here I'm going to drop a third one. So as you can see right now, we're trying to do a line on that bridge and the train line getting out of frame right here. So then I'm just going to grab the handle right there and try to adjust those curve accordingly. Same here with this one. And, you know, just try to get a clean line, something that looks good for what you're trying to do. Don't be afraid to delete point if at some point it doesn't work. So right now, for example, the curve doesn't really work. So I'm just going to delete this point, go to insert and modify. And here I'm just going to drop a new point and I'm going to try to just readjust that. And here we already have something that is a bit cleaner. All right, so after playing around a bit with each handle, I got a smooth line that I'm happy with, with just a few points. So here I have one two and three points. Now I'm just gonna change the look quickly of my line. So I'm gonna go to the background. Here we're gonna switch from solid color to gradient. And I'm gonna switch the color here from the black to purple. And then I'm gonna switch from the white to some reds like this. Now I'm just gonna lift those two right there. And I'm gonna select my background. It shifts space on my keyboard. And I'm gonna search for soft glow. And here we go, that already makes our line way more vibrant and more interesting. Now, obviously, if I were to try to play this, uh, that will not be animated yet. So for that, we're gonna need to here, go back to the mask paint, select insert and modify, and here select all the point in my line. Then we're gonna go over here to publish menu, and we're gonna go with publish to tracker. And as you can see now, it's just gonna bring a tracker and basically each point of the tracker are linked to the point of all line. So now I'm just gonna select my tracker only. I'm gonna bring it in between my media in and my merge two. So I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and drag that in right there. So it's just in between those two. In the tracker, I'm gonna go to adaptive mode and here I'm gonna select best match. And now we're just gonna track forward. All right, good. And then we're just gonna go back here and we're gonna track backward. All right, so now if we play it, as you can see, uh, the line is swifting by a lot because obviously there is nothing to track because those points are out of frame because our line go uh, from outside frame, inside frame and outside the frame again. So the only point that actually has been tracked is this tracker number two uh, that I've been doing a pretty good job here at tracking the end of the bridge. It stay pretty well in place, but we're going to have to make some modification to the tracker three and the tracker one. So what I would do in that case, since there is nothing to track, we're not gonna be able to get uh, any tracking out of it. We're gonna need to keyframe it manually. So as you can see here, this first point is tracker one. So we're just gonna select tracker one in our tracker list. And basically here, the position has been keyframe. So we're just gonna double click on that to reset it to default so we can just keyframe it manually. So I'm just gonna drop here a keyframe 
it just bring it in some random places it's all right just take it and here just bring it wherever you want it to start make sure that you're on frame one when you're doing that all right now that we've placed it we're just going to go at the end of our composition and we're just going to move again that point wherever we want it to be so that's going to be about there and now we can just scroll through the entire composition and see if it stay properly in place right now it's doing a pretty good job there is not too much weird movement so we're staying quite well aligned so there is no need to make any other modification for this and now we're just going to do the same thing here with the tracker tree so i'm going to go to the tracker number three here i'm just going to double click it to reset to default i've already done it uh, by mistake right now so no need to redo it but you can just double click on it to reset that to the parameter and then we're going to drop a first keyframe move that point around to wherever we want it to be then move towards the end of the composition and again adjust the position of that line so that's going to be around there now we can scroll through and see if we're staying in place maybe oh at the end maybe we should just bring it a tiny bit lower like this let's see yeah i'm happy with that all right so now if we play it as you can see we got all line that has been tracked properly and it's just follow the train tracks so this is going to be the trickiest thing to do. It's really going to depend on the footage that you have, how the tracker is going to behave, etc, etc. So what I would recommend is, again, try to just track it uh, with DaVinci Resolve's tracker first. And then the points that are not in place, just place them manually by keyframe them manually. Um, sometimes I end up doing the entire process manually because there is a lot of uh, car movement and the tracker is always going all over the place. All right, so now we're just left with the right on animation. To do that, we're just simply gonna go back again to the mask. We're gonna go to frame zero. Here, we're gonna open stroke control and we're gonna put a keyframe on right on and drag the right on down to zero. Then we're gonna go to frame 50 and here we're just gonna bring the right on back to the maximum at one. If then you want to do an animation out for that line, you can repeat the exact same process here by going to frame 100 dropping a keyframe here on the right on and then going to frame 150 and this time bring the beginning of the slider back to one. And here you go, that's how you track an animated line on some drone footage. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. I'll make a video about it like for this one. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye! Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.